Monday Live on this January 14th. I'm Jim. I'm Gabriella. And this hour, we're going to talk a little bit about baptism, baptismal names. Right. How to choose them and things. And we have a couple of resources we're going to share with you on choosing Catholic names. And then next uh, part of the hour, Rob Kenny is going to come and talk about a brand new book that's been re-released, reissued, uh, written by Maria Von Trapp. Known, of course, from The Sound of Music and uh, around the year with the Von Trapp family. Speaking of Maria Von Trapp, one of the names in this book, yeah, it's Von Trapp. No, by Marion Press, is Edelweiss. Oh, we'll get to that. Let's first talk about this. What? How did your parents choose your name? I'm technically named after the tennis player, Gabriella Sabatini. Mm-hmm. But so originally they. My parents never found out, boy or girl. I don't know. I think by my brother's birth, you could have found out in the sonograms. We could have found out. We we, we didn't didn't want to know. Yeah, they were surprised for all my siblings, actually. Mm -hmm. So they they were thinking Maria, but I just didn't look like Maria. Mm -hmm. And so my dad was reading the paper, and I guess the tennis player, Gabriella Sabatini. So how long were you here before you were named? Well, for two hours, I was named Maria, and it just, they didn't Didn't like it. It wasn't sticking. Mm -hmm. And I don't think... I could, I don't know. I wouldn't like that name for myself. Why not? Because I have a friend, Maria, and she's really sweet. And, and actually, I'm and not very not? sweet. Oh. <laughs> I'm like, you know, okay. I I just like that Gabriella's name means God is my strength. Mm-hmm. So, and your middle name is Anne? Anne, yeah. That just, with an A. Mm-hmm. Oh, I didn't know that. With I'm an particular a. about I that. I didn't know that. Yes, Anne with an A. Something I just found out about you then. Yeah. So, um, and. That's, uh, when, and the Anne is for St. Anne, just basically St. Anne? My mom's middle name is Anne, too. Oh, okay. But I don't know. My my parents were, like, faithful, religious. Like, they would mm-hmm. go to Sunday Mass. Mm-hmm. and But um, their relationship with God, you know, their deepening in their relationship mm-hmm. with God probably started after their marriage, mm-hmm. you know? Mm-hmm. When you need God more. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I think when their family started to grow, at least for my mom, then she started to reach out to God more. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So. So, yeah, I mean, but my mom once told me, she's like, that really God chooses the names. Mm -hmm. God picks the names. Yeah. God was a tennis fan? I don't know. (laughs) But um, it's funny because one of my aunts, um, she also, so my dad's one of 12, and a lot of his siblings ended up having six kids. Yeah. Hence why my wedding was so big. I have a lot of cousins. But one of my aunts was, like, stuck. Like, she didn't know what to name her. Was it her third child? Uh-huh. She just couldn't figure it out. And she was like, told my mom, just say a prayer that I, you know, I can't, I don't know what to name her. And she ended up, I don't know how she came up with the name, but the name was Morella. And Morella means, I think, God chooses me or God Ma- names Marella? me. Morella? M-I-R-E-L-L-A. Mirella. Mirella. C. Si. Mm-hmm. But if you know any name with an E-L, right, that comes from in um, Hebrew, I think it is, Eloi, Eloi, mm-hmm. meaning of God or mm-hmm. my God, like Michael, mm-hmm. you know, who is like God, yeah. Gabriel, God is my strength, Raphael, God heals, that E-L, that part of the name has to do with like God, mm-hmm. because Eloi mm-hmm. is... My God! My I'm looking God. at pictures of Gabriella Sabatini. Right? Oh yeah, her. does she look like me? No, I don't. Was she? Was she a, an I don't Italian? Know what she was at all? I mean, she looks Italian, but I, yeah. I don't know if she was, you know, from Italy or just an Italian surname. Oh, my mom just texted me. I messed up the story. I don't know which one. It's like the time I tried to give the recipe, and I said it was paprika instead of yeah. um, some other spice, mm. Mm. Right. parsley. Yeah, uh-huh. that's a big difference. But anyway, how about you? You weren't born on the Feast of James and Philip. You were born no, in December. No, I was born in December. Um, and um, in December of 1954. And at that, my father always told the story, my father's birthday is May 1st. And in 1954 and years previous, May 1st was the Feast of Saints Philip and James. So he chose James Philip. He inverted a James instead of Philip James, James Philip, as my my uh, my name, because his his birthday was the feast of Saint Philip and James, oh. which in just a few months later in 1955, Pius XII changed it. He moved Philip and James to May 3rd and made May 1st Saint Joseph the Worker to combat May Day, 
in Russia. Oh, okay. Communism. I didn't know that. Um, but I, fa- I, 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 we were do- I was looking at like um, a family tree, and I noticed that my father had he had two two older brothers, actually three. One had passed away as a child, but mm-hmm. but he had two older brothers named Arthur and Raymond. And Arthur's middle name was James, and Raymond's middle name was Philip. Oh, so maybe that's also where he so I, 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 drew it from. He may have done it that way, too. He never admitted to that because he never. They, my parents never named any of us after anybody in the family. Okay. So, anyway. Like verbatim after. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, but anyway, so that's how I got James Philip and so that feast day. But then he also said that they were going back and forth, that he was, he, he thought James Ignatius because then my... Initials would be J. I. Oh, that's cool. So, but he didn't go with that, obviously. But uh, that's funny. And if who I, chose the names? Your mom or your dad? I think they just, you know, whatever. I know Bounce if I, back and I forth. was. He told me once if if I had been a girl, my name would have been Laura. Oh, I don't know why. <laughs> but it would have been Laura. <laughs> but none of your sisters after no, you were no, named I know. Laura. No. I mean, you only had one younger sister, right? Or Diane is younger, yeah. Yeah, just two one older sisters. Okay, but. Uh, in fact, Diane's name was Rita for the first couple of days. Oh, and they really? Changed it to Diane. Yeah, it didn't uh, stick. I or? didn't stick. It's funny. And I think when when we had our children, we knew what they. I mean, we you know we knew it was it was going to be Joseph Anthony and. Well, you also knew whether you were having a boy or a girl. No, or we no? didn't know. Oh. We were oh, with Anthony. We knew because of the sonogram. We didn't want to know, but we could see uh, through, on the sonogram that he was he was obviously a boy. So. Um, but Angela, I think Angela's the only one we we we, we kind of went back and forth. Uh, Angela and Stella. Oh, that's cool. Her too. name would have been Stella. That's actually popular now. Now it is, I know. But mm-hmm. in those days, it was an old lady's name. It would have been yeah. bringing it back. Yeah. But you you had an idea. If it was a boy, it would be this name. If it was a girl, it would be Joseph. This name. We knew it was Joseph. Joseph. Yeah. We just we always knew Joseph was Joseph. Mm. And Anthony, because Joseph's middle name is Anthony, so Anthony is. We like the name. Oh yeah, they did that with my bro- my brothers too. It's oh yeah, Peter John and then John Matthew. Yeah, yeah, it's like yeah. yeah. <laughs> progression. So yeah, that's how we chose our names. And of course, many of you listening, watching right now, you, you have your own special. Word. We found this this book came across our desk about four or five six months ago mm-hmm. on a Catholic family. Was it? It's, it's, are they not all Marian names though? Well, it says over two hundred fifty ways to honor Our Lady. Mm-hmm. So they kind of do tie them in a lot to Mary. So the one that I said, you know, we're going to have the Von Trapp family book discussion mm-hmm. yes. after our mm-hmm. discussion. Edelweiss is actually in here. And it's, why is it in this as a Catholic name? Because the lovely white flower, Leonotopodium alpinum, is better known as Edelweiss, a German word combining the elements noble and white. The flower has also been called the purity of Mary. So mm. that's why. But it's interesting now. This is a book of Catholic baby names, and there's like you would think saints. Yeah, I think they're going Edelweiss. for a little interesting spin on the names Cause, as well. Because there is a website that I found. You knew the website, Blessed, Blessed is She. Blessed is She, yes. That they had have. suggested Catholic baby names for boys and girls, which I thought, and some of them are pretty. I mean, they're they're like you know Ambrose. Right. I was telling Jim the one I think is coming back. Well, coming is Zelly. I know a couple of Catholic. Couples that named their daughter Zelly after Saint Therese's yeah, mom. Yeah, and I I know one that has become very popular over the past twenty years. Can you guess what it is? Catholic. Catholic. Girl, Augustine. Girl name. No girl's name. Oh, Sophia. No. No. More popular than Sophia. Ava. No, more popular than Ava. They're they're in the top. They're in the top ten. But I'm thinking, I'm talking about among Catholic families, not not you know. Think about it. A girl's name? Yeah. Over well, among the, Catholic families? Yeah, over the past 20 years. For a reason. <sighs> Gianna. Yes. Yes. Gianna. Uh-huh. Right, because it's... Because Gianna brought him all That's right. Yeah. I mean, a lot of pro-life families name their child Gianna. It's a pretty name. Yeah. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Yeah. Which is the feminine of John. Giovanni, no? Gianni? John, yeah, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Yeah. So other names here, Ambrose Asher... What's that? Sounds like kind of like Southern one preppy, of, doesn't it? One of Jacob's twelve sons. Oh wow! What the other th- eleven were named? Asher. Well, mm. Jacob was also um, renamed Israel. Yeah, Jacob is the Joseph was his son. Yeah, but he had twelve sons. Benjamin. What's the other guy? Benjamin's name? a nice name. That's coming yeah. back. 
Um, Another name they chose here was Beckett after St. Thomas Beckett. But I don't know if I'd name a boy Beckett. I just think of like the soccer player. Isn't that like bend it like Beckett? The soccer player. Oh, was it? Yeah, yeah. Blaze. I think that's popular for a couple like Catholic couples. And here's one I kind of have a instead of the the, the boy suggested Catholic boy's name is Bosco. <laughs> but like your, your but we dog. think of the uh, syrup, right? The chocolate, the chocolate syrup. syrup. Or a dog. You name a dog Bosco. Oh, really? I don't know about. I'm going to pull up the list so I can follow along with you. Well, no, you have your book. I have my list. All right, all right. I'll pick for my book. So <laughs> I was watching the Seek Talks from the Focus Conference. Yeah. They have a lot of their talks on YouTube, and they're really great. One of the speakers mentioned his daughter, Clementine. And it's actually in this book. Oh, my darling. Oh, my yeah. darling. Oh, my darling Clementine. So I guess it's cute, but you do think the, the little fruit, you know? The little orange. The little orange, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. But it's the feminine form of the male name Clement. And Pope, we had a Pope Clement, didn't Sixtus, we? Sixtus Cornelius. Yeah, there you go. How about that In the Eucharistic prayer. You can name, you can name <laughs> all your kids like Clement, Sixtus, Sixtus Cornelius. Cornelius. Is it? I was thinking because I was thinking of the Eucharistic prayer when you before when you said we would talk about this. Wasn't Linus one of them? Linus, Linus? was the second pope. Yeah, and he's also Linus, Sixtus, the one with the blanket in uh, yeah, Charlie, Charlie Brown, Brown yeah, right? Yeah. Linus. So I feel like some of those names are just like you can't. It's hard to rebrand certain names. Oh yeah, I mean because people wouldn't wouldn't yeah, think of the first the second just, pope. They would no, think of the cartoon of, character. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Uh huh. It's definitely tough to rebrand certain names. Fulton. Cool. Fulton. After Fulton Sheen. Yeah. Faustina. That's actually in here, too. That's probably a popular one these days. No? I think some people go for Faustina. Now, this art, uh, this book has some, you know, hardcore ones like mm-hmm. Presentation and Purica- Purification. I just feel like, man, that's, that's, that's a little much, right? Yeah. That's a little much. Yeah. Tilma. That was the one we were. Tilma. <laughs> Tilma. <laughs> How about Mantilla? Is that one? Um, I don't know. I should check its alphabetical Tilma. order. I mean, uh, people should they really want people to name their daughter Tilma? Yeah, I mean, this lady who wrote it. I'm curious. She had six boys, but I don't think the names of her boys are listed. I'm curious what she named her boys. Magnificat is in here too. Magnificat. Hmm. Marigolds. That's another flower. Yeah, there's a couple of flowers in here. But um, which one did you say? Not Tilma. Which one did you want to know? Mantilla. Mantilla. (laughs) (laughs) Is that a suggested Um, name? Mantilla. Uh, Transubstantiation. No. No, no Mantilla. It doesn't look like they have that one included. Hypostatic union? (laughs) No. No, what was the other one? Hyperdulia. Oh, Hyperdulia. The yeah. highest honor for Mary, right? Now, other names. This this list I'm reading from on Blessed Is She on the website. Angelica, mm-hmm. which is a that's a good, that's a beautiful name. Oh yeah, and they actually said after Mother Angelica, right? After right? The, or the Choir of Angels, but the only thing that for me, Angelica, I like the name, but you also think about Rugrats. I don't know if you're familiar I don't with know the Rugrats. Rugrats. No, Angelica was kind of the bratty. Oh, really? Toddler so in I never Rugrats. saw the show. Yeah, unfortunately. But I think Mother Angelica, I think Rugrats is old enough that it's not branded that much anymore. No, I, I don't even, is it on? Is it a cartoon? Yeah, it was a cartoon. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, Vita or Vito, meaning life, right? Vita, life, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, Colby. <laughs> Colby. That's kind of cute. For a girl, though. C-O-L-B-I-A. Oh, for a girl or for a guy? No, this one uh, suggested for a girl, C-O-L-B-I-E. You know, they do have those names that go, like, either way, like Taylor. Sometimes a guy is named Taylor or right. a girl Ryan. is named Taylor. Ryan's another one. Oh, I know yeah. some. I know a woman named Ryan. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Um, Jaylee? Yes, I've heard of that one. Felicity, that's... that's uh, That means happy, doesn't it? Felicity? But when I think about that, I think about the American Girl doll. I don't know that. There was an American Girl doll, Felicity. Named Felicity? Yeah. Hmm. But, Jordan, how about Katura? Katura. Like Katiri, you the mean? Name, no, Katura, the name of the oh, woman... Oh, that's kind of cute, Katiri, the right? The name of the woman Abraham married after Sarah died. Oh. Where the heck is she even listed? Well, I don't know. I don't remember that. Well, it says here, Bible. blessed is she, dot net. I wonder if Katiri is on there. 
Uh, not in the Ks. These are only a few of them. Phoebe. Oh, here's one. Rosary. Mm-hmm. Would you name your daughter Rosary? Rosary. Get your rosary. S- mm, no. Sienna. Stella. <laughs> Stella. <laughs> that's why you I wanted. Would have just said that's that. why I wanted to name Angela yeah, Stella. Angela, like, go, Stella. You would have just like said it like that. <laughs> no, I think it was last Monday we were talking with Father Willie from the Holy Cross. Yeah. Priests, mm-hmm. missionaries. And he was mentioning Father Patrick Peyton. So this is listed as a boy's name, Peyton. Peyton. Well, Peyton Manning. The rosary priest. Oh, true. Duh, I didn't think of that. Peyton Manning. But now they're saying you can name it after the rosary priest. Is, is Peyton a biblical name? Because Archie Manning, who's the father, who was a famous quarterback, named his son Peyton and Eli Manning. Oh, yeah. I wonder if Peyton is a, a biblical no, name. No, it doesn't you say. Know. It just says that, you know... Father Patrick Payne was his last name. His first name was Patrick. Mm-hmm. So yeah, but I mean Archie Manning named his son Peyton Manning. Yeah, I don't, I don't know I don't where he got that name from. Refugio, <laughs> Our Lady of Refuge. Re- Refugio, really? Yeah, I don't For know about boy? nowadays with all the whole talk on the refugees. Refugio, 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 Rosario. I do know. I think I've heard of people named Rosario. What's the strangest name you ever had? I mean, someone who, who knew really had a not a strange. Well, okay. Uh, a, a, a this different is a type little much. Yeah. I mean, it's it's an it's a Catholic name, but mm-hmm. Athanasius. Athanasius. It's a little much, I would say. It's like Irenaeus, like naming your child Irenaeus. Yeah, and then what do you call him for short? Athan or like, Polycarp? Polycarp. <laughs> Polly. <laughs> think that, but that's a girl's name, Polly, in a sense, right? Not Polycarp. Yeah. I mean, that's in terms of, like, the Catholic extreme, I think. Oh, no, I have a friend named Concepta, too. Oh, yes, I met her. She was born on the Immaculate on the, yeah, Conception. That was interesting. Yeah. Oh, you know what? She just named her son Milo, M-I-L-O. And I was wondering, like, what is that from? I think does St. Paul refer to that in his letters, maybe? Maybe. Greek, it's a Greek name, isn't it? Yeah, I believe so. And I'm like, she must have got it from somewhere. Hmm. Because I think, I remember when I went to visit her, She she's now in South Dakota with her husband, but she grew up in Jersey. She was saying that her husband liked the name uh, Lazaro. Lazaro? Yeah. Really? Because it's with La- Lazarus. I'm, you know, like Jesus' uh, best friend. He was trying to sell it to her. He's like, come on, it was... Lazarus was like Jesus' best friend. No, but you said he liked Lazaro. Well, that's a, you know, that's a, a form of it. Yeah. Oh, I like Lazarus better. Lazarus better than Lazaro? Yeah. Lazaro sounds more Italian, I think. Yeah, I guess, but... I knew a kid named Lazaro on Is Angelo's... Uh, and everyone called him Laz. It was kind of cute. Yeah. Laz and Nunzio. I knew a boy in my class named Ladislaus. What? Ladislaus. That's Polish, right? Yeah, Marcus. Or Hungarian. Actually, Ladislaus Farkas I did, was his name. There was a girl. Um, if Dorcas. you're listening, Ladislaus, I just thought about it. I haven't thought about him in 50 years, but he was in my grammar school class. Ladislaus now, Farkas. Here's another one for boys that came up in this book and also came up on when Catholic Men for Jesus Christ talked about this one. Yeah. Bartolo from Blessed Bartolo Longo. He had been ordained a satanic priest in his post-college young adulthood before coming back to the Catholic faith of his upbringing. And then he became a third order Dominican, and he took the name Brother Rosario. There's a pitcher named Bartolo Colon. Colon? Baseball. Well, his last name is Spanish. Oh, I thought you were saying that um, there's a Colon. No, there's a pitcher. His name is Bartolo Colon. Oh, Cologne. a pitcher. Okay, this is what I'm thinking when you said it. An actual photograph. I didn't say picture. I know. I said a That's picture. That's how I heard it. Okay. I know your pronunciation is so perfect. Wait, how so you I think a, you think a framed photograph is a picture? Picture. Picture. You say it fast sometimes, you know? <laughs> no, there's a baseball pitcher okay. named Bartolo Colon. I don't know that. What's the other guy on the Yankees? Gianfranco? Giancarlo. Giancarlo. Okay. Giancarlo Stanton. That's a nice name, Giancarlo. Giancarlo. Hmm. Yeah. That's kind of like a John Paul version. I bet there are a lot of John Pauls these days, right? Oh, definitely. Lots of John Pauls. Yeah. And what's the other one? Like you said, Gianna. A lot of people picked up on that name, I think. Faustina. Mm-hmm. Stella. I still like Stella. Maybe if um, Joseph and uh, Tori have a girl. Have another baby? Maybe if they have a girl next, they'll say. 
My, Jack will be a, a month old on Wednesday already. Oh, wow. It went by fast. Didn't it go by fast? Yeah. I'm saying that we were looking at, you know what they gave us for, for Christmas? What? It's a neat thing. It's this, it's this virtual picture frame. Oh, my mom got one of them too. But they can upload pictures to it from their when they yeah. th- and we get them. Yeah, that's it's right. like somehow connected to the cloud. Yeah, the right? Wi-Fi. Yeah, the cloud, the Wi-Fi. So they take pictures and they they upload it and we see them on our and they on our. So that's every morning really we're having cool. breakfast. There, new 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 photographs being displayed from our it's grandchildren. Neat. You're totally updated all the time. Yeah, right? right. It's exciting. We sit there and eat have breakfast and, and look at our grandchildren. Mm-hmm. So, any other ones worth saying, Jim? No, I'm trying to think of when I was growing up. Uh, what were, what were some of the common names? You know, we had my friends, my, my circle of friends were Stephen, mm-hmm. Jimmy. I had a friend named Jimmy. Uh, Peter. Uh, like the traditional. Mark. Mm-hmm. Yeah, traditional. We didn't really have any. There were four Jessicas, I remember, on my field hockey team. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Hmm. And No, no, no. Four Caitlins. I'm sorry. Maybe two Jessicas. Caitlin. Patricia was popular when I was growing up. That's not really that popular anymore, is it, Patricia? No. But that I think some of the name. older names are coming back, like you said, Stella. Stella, engineer, Sophia, Ava. Evelyn. Evelyn, named yeah. His daughter, mm-hmm. Evelyn, and mm-hmm. I've heard of a couple people named Evelyn. When we were naming then. our children, they were all considered old lady names. Yeah. No offense to the ladies named those. Oh, but I that's know. that's what they were considered, because Cheryl's grandmother was named Stella. Mm, oh, really? Was, yeah. Stella. I said, you can't name her that. I said, well, it's great. No, it's an old lady name. See, you would have been ahead of the game. Way ahead. But almost 30 Angela's years a pretty name. Actually, I like her. Her name flows very well, too. It's Angela Grace, Angela right? Angela Grace. That's her stage name. Oh, good. You're using that as her stage name. It was great. Angela That's perfect. Grace. It is perfect. Yeah. Yeah, Angela Grace. Yeah. So. Oh. Well, there's some How about uh, your siblings? I remember, um, so since I'm the second oldest, I remember, like, you know, when my parents would bounce around names and when we would give mm. ideas for names, too. Mm. But, um... My sister Isabella is actually named after our great grandmother. She was Isabel. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. But we all call her Bella. Yeah. yeah. So I like Isabella though. It's pretty. Mm-hmm. And then um, Johnny's named after my grandpa. He died mm-hmm. when he was only forty-two, actually. Mm. But he looks like him too. It's funny oh, if he you does. look at the pictures. Yeah. And Angelo, we were going back and forth with all different names for him. What was? Oh, my mom really liked the, if he was a girl, she liked the name Luciana. Luciana. Mm-hmm. And then um, they also liked Gerard, but I remember my youngest sister couldn't say it. She would. She just couldn't say couldn't Gerard. Say Gerard She's huh? like, Gerd. Gerd. Like, I don't know. It like, didn't come out right. Mm-hmm. And so, um, because my mom went and prayed at St. Lucy, St. Gerard sure. Shrine before yeah. she got pregnant with Angelo. Mm-hmm. But, um so then um, I do have, Angelo is a family name, though, on my dad's it side. Mm-hmm. See, we don't have any family names. No. I'm, well, when my siblings, or, or even, I shouldn't say we, or Joseph, my grandfather's name was Joseph, but yeah. that's not why I named him Joseph. I'm always, like, puzzled by your dad's name, Norman. Norman. Yeah, like, where did that come from? Well, like, think about it now. My grandfather, my father's father, he, he immigrated to this country. Mm-hmm. And it, we were looking on Ancestry.com because my sister went back and traced. And we knew that he, my grandfather, whose name was Pellegrino, they called right. him Joseph when he came, Joe, when he came over to the U.S. But uh, he was born in Marseille, France. And they were in the, his family was in the process of emigrating across Europe to come to this country. And it, his mom was pregnant and had him in France. Oh. So my grandfather, my Manfredonia grandfather, was born in Marseille. Mm-hmm. And I don't know. But you think about his children, when they got here, it was Arthur, right, Raymond, thanks. Norman, and the one boy who passed away, and he was eight years old, he had the flu, during that flu epidemic in 1918. Oh. Uh, the, uh, the um, what do you call it? Not the flu, the, uh, what's the lung thing? The uh, Oh, tuberculosis? No. The other, the, 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 pneumonia? Pneumonia. Yeah. Oh, okay. Phew. Um, his was Edward, Eduardo. Eduardo. Was it Eduardo? Ed, no, Edward. Edward. Yeah. Oh, so they kept it pretty they kept American. It, oh, yeah, maybe. They, everything was American. Maybe they wanted to do it to, like, you know, integrate into the culture and all that. I think Norman was, I think I just mentioned, I think my father was named after, he was named after somebody in my in Norman my, Rockwell? No. no, in the family who was also named Norman. Oh, okay. Or a friend of the family or something. That's how he got his name. Yeah. But his middle name was Lewis. What is the name of um, the honeymooners? What are what are their names? Ralph the Cramden? Honey? Yeah, wait, what am I thinking of? <laughs> no, what am I the thinking of? The actors or the characters? Yeah, the characters. Ralph? Oh. 
Norton. Norton. Ed Norton. Maybe that's what I was thinking. Norton. Norton. The friend, the neighbor, Norton. Yeah, I'm not sure. Huh. But it's really, um, wasn't it Ricardo? You're thinking of Lucy. Oh, Lucy. Lucy. I'm confusing that. Lucy, you have some explaining to do. That's what I'm, I'm confusing. You're thinking of Ricky that. and Lucy. Right, yeah. okay. What were the popular names on the television shows? When I was growing up. Yeah. Spanky, Alfalfa. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I watched a lot of the Little Rascals when I was growing up. Oh, okay. They were on TV then. You could watch them. Yeah. They, were, they weren't offending anybody, but. <laughs> they weren't offending anyone. <laughs> That's what that my mother would put me in in put the TV on and when the little rascals were on every morning I'd watch the little rascals. Oh, cool! But yeah, so those were the popular names: Banky, Alfalfa. Now I know you like to call Charlotte. Carlota. Carlota. I don't really sometimes. call her that. I, oh, I started, but I, you know she's and she even says Charlotte. Now it's funny because they call her Char, oh. but she still says Charlotte. She pronounces her name the full, you know the full. And I was oh, holding I was holding Jack the other day in my arms, and because Joseph and Tori had run some errands and we were over there babysitting. And I'm holding him, and they came home. I said, you know, guys, I hate to tell you this. I see a lot of me in him. Like his, Giacomo. Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. I said, uh, you know, he's... He, well, he, Jack, I think, is a form of James, technically, right? Or Giacomo, isn't it? Jack? Or they, they sometimes... Jack is a nickname for John. Adam's grandpa was Giacomo. They all called him Jack. Well, that's possible. But I think, but, I mean, the, the Anglo... Oh, is it? Nickname oh, okay. for John is Jack, yeah. Like the John mean, Kennedy, they call him Jack Kennedy. Why wouldn't it be Johnny? Well, that too. There's multiple. Like I'm Jim, Jimmy, Janie. You could be calling me anything. You call Jamie? me a lot of. You, oh, you call me a lot of things. That's a fun name. No, don't call me. Maybe Jamie. I'll call you Jamie no, now. Call me Jamie. <laughs> Giacomino. There you go. All right. Well, now so. you have a whole selection, friends, of things you can name your children when the time comes. And uh, what's the name of that book? In case people want to get it. Oh, <laughs> Catholic baby names for girls and boys. Who's it published by? It is published by Marion Press. All right. Very good. And the website I was going to was blessedisshe.net. Yes. Lest is she done it. Okay. Let's go to a song. We'll come back and uh, we'll be joined by Rob Kenny. <laughs> 